My dad was Felix Quiroz. The reason he moved to Samora was because he wanted to open up a bakery and make bread. And he knew how to make bread. So that's why he was in Samora. And seeing her sweeping the streets, you know, she was outside sweeping, sweeping the front of her, their house. And it was love at first sight. Her and grandpa had gone to this mountain and they were riding horseback, and that there was a priest there, and he would marry these couples. They definitely wanted to be together, and that's how they got married. Then they decided to come to the United States, where the living was bitter. He already had a job here at Sherman Williams. She came to the United States because my dad was already in the United States, and he sent for her and she migrated from Mexico to the United States. She came here to the United States, to a different country. You know, it, uh, I imagine it was hard on her. It had to be hard. Not knowing the language, going to a new country, it had to be hard. I, I, I remember my dad telling me that it was hard for him too because when he came here, he didn't eat a meal because his only words that he knew was coffee and donuts. And, you know, he would go into a restaurant, of course, he would want to order, but he couldn't order because he didn't know the language. So he would just order a coffee and a donut, or go to places where they only made coffee and donuts. Wouldn't go to a restaurant because the restaurant you're going in and you got to ask for whatever you want to eat. And I remember him telling me that a lot of times he would go without a meal because of the language barrier. They moved to Chicago, Illinois, Pullman, Illinois. They lived in the, on Langley Ave. That was a poor people's street on Langley Ave, and there was a lot of um, apartments, one-two-room one, apartments. Mm -hmm. 